All right, so some guys were having some troubles with security status, and since uh, you may or may not know the best ways to handle uh, your security status, how to improve it, I thought I would talk about it because I am in a situation where I could use some security status increase. Okay, so uh, one of your instructors or myself should be able to put on a class about the different security statuses and what they mean. But in a nutshell, the more negative your security status, the less uh, secure of space you're allowed in. Um, at negative 10, you're not allowed in any kind of high sec at, n yeah, um, and or maybe low sec, I'm not real sure. Uh, refer to your class. Um, in this case, though, my security status, I believe, keeps me out of point, 0 0.8 systems and above. So we want to avoid, or we want to get rid of that so we can actually go to a market hub. Most market hubs are in, in higher security space. So... Uh, we want to improve our security status and this right here is a uh, quick tutorial on how to do that. So the the first way uh, to increase your security status is actually if I can pull my character sheet back out uh, look at my mm, interaction security status. Uh, every time you shoot a rat uh, like here or here and here and here you get a small amount of security status increase. However uh, you can see that the increases are way, uh, way less significant compared to, say, this time I shot this capsuleer, or this time I shot a pod, or what have you. Um, so it gets a little grindy if you want to kill rats. Uh, it's certainly a viable option. It's also free. In fact, they pay you to do it. So it's kind of a good thing if you've got the spare time and want to grind. If you're lazy like me, though, uh, here's another way to do it that's really quick, but it's expensive. So what we're going to look for um, in the market is, let me just click on something that's not the thing already, so it looks like we're looking for it, is we want clone tags. Uh, so the easiest way to get them is to do clone trooper, and if you type it correctly, um, maybe just clone tag. I don't know, the game is finicky because you have to do the string in the correct order, so we'll just search clone. Uh, but what we're looking for is under train, trade goods. If I took this out, it's really easy to find, just trade goods, security tags, which is what we want, and then you have these. Okay, there's a bunch of different tags, they cost money. Um, you can see that they tend to be quite expensive depending on what, uh, what type of tags you're buying, but we want to get some tags to increase, increase our security status. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show info, and you can right-click show info, or you can click the little info button. Uh, this gives you some fluff about the e-tag, which isn't important. What we want is down here, click show security offices. This pulls up your map, and it highlights all of the systems in which you can purchase, or rather where you can turn in clone tags. You actually pick them up uh, doing uh, like like missions and things, killing pirates, I think. Um, so you can you can actually just farm your own. Uh, if you go to the right places. But we're here in Gruthies where they have a station, Gruthies 10, Moon 13, Concord Bureau, uh, which is a place you can turn in the security tags. So, Gruthies 10, Moon 13, Concord Bureau, we're here now. All right, so that's how you find where you t where you go, um, and it's, it's just as simple as looking at the map and finding the closest place to where you currently are. I had already traveled here previously, and so that that took some uh, took some of the the search work out of the mix. But you're here, and you've got uh, it's time to turn in some tags. So what you want to do is click on the security office. It's this little Concord logo, and it tells you exactly how much it costs to turn in tags to improve your security status. Uh, we're hoping to take it to point zero. So if you click or move the bar, there we go it tells you uh, an additional fee for turning in the tags and it also tells you what types of tags you need and how many. So I need three clone transporter tags and I need three clone negotiator tags. So I want to buy these. Typically people are kind enough to stock the station with the tags you need and so that is a handy way to get the tags you want. Now you don't have to take your security status all the way to point zero or 0, or 0.0. Actually, all you need to do is be above a negative two. And so, if I want to go to negative 1.6, it gets significantly cheaper. I only need the three uh, clone 
transporter tags. And if we view market details, you can see they're roughly the same price, but it saves me about 90 mil. So I'm going to buy these three tags right now. Okay. And it costed some ask, but now I can uh, exchange the tags. Turn them in. And now when we look at my security status, we're at negative 1.6, which lets us travel through all of HiSec. And that, in a nutshell, is a quick but expensive way to fix your security status.